What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP's on Keys, and it's two. He's back with the video today, and I figured I'd give you guys a treat. You know, I had all this free time today, and I got two more episodes of Love Thy Neighbor. So I thought to myself, I'm just going to watch both of them in one video. How about that? You're welcome. Because this series definitely, I really enjoyed this. I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoyed this series because it really showed me about how the comedy was back in the day. And just like how having, how laughing at, you know, racism and stupid stuff like that really kind of makes it, kind of educates people on how dumb it is to really be that way. You know what I mean? You you're, you you make yourself sound crazy when you're just, just judging people for no reason. But, without further ado, let's watch these two last episodes. So, I, I got, after this, I'll still have, uh, I got Rising Damp, I got Step to and Son, I got Only Fools of Horses, I got Father Ted, I got Black Adder, I got all these shows I need to watch. So we, we, we got we got we got material for the rest for a couple years. We we're good. What I further do, get your snacks, get your snacks, get your drinks, wherever you whatever you eat when you watch videos. Let's get to it, man. Love thy neighbor. Walk up and say how be ya. To see a pal house trick, what's new? Love thy neighbor, and you will find your labor a great deal easier. Life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. <laughs> Would you believe it? Racial discrimination in Africa. <laughs> Typical. Talk about a way to run a country. I've always said it, you know, dear. Give Sambo home rule and he is God. Joan? Are you listening, Joan? Oh, dear me. <laughs> How you can sit there listening to that rubbish when issues of world importance are hanging in the balance <coughs> and the sanity of the world is in the hands of power-mad megalomaniacs, I do not know. All right, what's Tommy Doherty said this time? <laughs> it has got nothing to do with Tommy Doherty. It's what happened in Africa yesterday. Why, what was the score? Oh, Joe. <laughs> Football might mean everything to you, but there are more important things in the world, you know. Such as what? This poor farmer in Africa. Well, what's he done to get your loincloth in a twist? <laughs> <laughs> Snuffed it. <laughs> that all? Is that all? A human life has come to an end. Well, it doesn't usually get you like this. You were not upset when Omar Bentley at the corner shop went last week. The two cases do not bear comparison. Omar Bentley was 97 with furred up tubes. <laughs> <laughs> this young man is 32 and healthy. Must have been something wrong with him. It was. It was skint. <laughs> Couldn't pay his taxes, so the black Yorker cats confiscated his belongings and chucked him out onto the street. Had nowhere to go. Oh yes. Oh yes, 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 yes. He rehoused himself, all right. Where? In the river. Chucked himself in. Well, what else? Only escape open to him from flaming bureaucrats. You mean he drowned himself? No. Someone went in after him? Yes. Well, that's all right then. No, it wasn't. It was a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You see, we should never have given them home rule. They're not ready for it, dear. Beneath that thin veneer of pseudo culture lurks the lord of the jungle. One unpaid bill, and you end up as a lady's handbag. <laughs> Thank goodness I always buy plastic handbags. Yes, very humane, dear. No, cheaper, actually. <laughs> well, never mind, the thought was there. Oh, fair yes. It's a rotten way to go, you know, even for a chocolate drop. <laughs> Fancy being eaten, but... Mm. What'd you say? When? It was black. Well, Africans usually are, dear, yes, it was. Eddie, you've never bothered about a black person in your life. Rubbish. I'm concerned about anybody who ends up as a crocodile's dinner. 
<laughs> anyway, that's not the point. It's bureaucracy I'm against. The, 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 the faceless men who, who run our lives. The red tape that tangles us up. The computers that control our destiny. You've been watching BBC too again, haven't you? Do <laughs> <laughs> you mind? I'm being serious. Might as well talk to myself. I usually do. Joan! Been here, Bob. Oh, Joan. What's the matter? Has that husband of yours been knocking you about again? No, it's the electricity man. Don't tell me he's been knocking you about. <laughs> what the? I'm cracking letter from the electricity board. They're going to cut us off. Oh, is that all, dear? Well, don't worry. We get them all the time. Just pay your bill. It'll be all right. No? That's the trouble. We have paid it. I rang them to explain, but they said their computers never make mistakes. They've been bureaucrats again. Where's your billy boy? He's at the club, drinking and worrying. <laughs> yeah, I might have known it. You see, drink never solved anything. Well, I'm off. Where are you going? You're in the club for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> I shall sort this out myself. It's time somebody stood up against the system. It's us versus them. Don't want to worry you, Balby, but my money's on them. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Jacko, make up your mind, will you? It's my turn, not Jacko's. Yeah, well, what's it to be? I'll buy one for 10p. Boy. That'll do me, I'll stick. What about you, Jacko? Mm, I'll have half. <laughs> I'm talking about the cards! Don't shout at me, I've never played this game before. Well, you're supposed to buy one, it's 10p minimum. I can't afford 10p. Well, what do I do now, then? You either stick or twist. I think I'll stick, I'm no good at twisting. Right. <laughs> I paid 20s. That's me. Oh dear, I've only got 11, 10 uh, and an ace. <laughs> <coughs> You've got Ponto. Is that good? Is that good, you nitwit? You've just won the bank. Oh, well then, I'll have half of Dram Buick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hello, Hello really. <clears throat> Norbert. Thank you. Where's old King Cole? In the doings. He's not trying to drown himself, is he? He'll have a job on. Yes, yes, you're quite right. In any case, there's no crocodiles in there. <laughs> ah, there you are, Billy Boy. Cheer up. I don't feel like cheering up. Give us a round in Nobby. Right. Now sit down, young man. Give us a smile. Things aren't as black as they look. <laughs> if you... Oh, I'm going to miss this show. I'm going to miss this show. Pardon the experiment. Ooh. Well, they are for me. Look, according to this, if I don't pay another 30 pounds in 48 hours, they'll cut me off. No chance. You're not in a primitive country now, you know. You're in white man's territory, protected by white man's justice. Relax. You're perfectly safe here. Eddie's right. Thank you, Brother Arthur. If anybody can sort it out, Eddie can. Thank you, Brother Jacko. What do you suggest, then? Hmm? I'll tell you what I suggest. First thing tomorrow morning, you and me are going down to the electricity showroom to sort them out. I think I better pay the bill. Oh, <laughs> what is that chance? Now, don't worry. This time tomorrow morning, it'll all be sorted out in a gentlemanly fashion. Well, maybe I should go on my own, eh? You'd get nowhere. Now, don't worry. See, what you need is, you need somebody more cultured, more educated, more used to dealing with people in high places. Ed is right. Definitely. Here, here. Thank you, Jacko. There's only one thing bothering me, though. What's that, Jacko? Where are you going to find this educated and cultured fella? <laughs> <laughs> right. Electricity board. I'm sorry, Mr. Sylvester, the manager, isn't in yet. Oh, just a minute. Here he is now. Good morning, Miss Lowe. Good morning, Mr. Sylvester. Head office on the phone. Oh, thank you. Uh, you think you could get me a coffee? Certainly. Hello? Yes, speaking. Oh, good morning, sir. The November account, they've all gone out. You should get all the paperwork by Monday. It's in the post. <coughs> Very good, sir. Well, gentlemen, good morning, Sambo. Oh, God. oh, oh, my, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God.
my god, dude. This show is crazy. We'd like to see Mr. Sylvester, the manager. The manager? Yes, your boss. My boss? Oh, dear me. Do you have to repeat everything I say? Can't you understand our language? A little. <laughs> well, we wish to parley with the chief white man, Buwana. <sighs> Savvy, chop chop. <laughs> Only just. Excuse me. Uh, you wished to see me? Pardon? I am Mr. Sylvester. Look at You're you. You're Mr. Sylvester? The manager. Yes. The manager? Do you have to repeat everything I say? <laughs> <laughs> the copy won't be long, Mr. Sylvester. Can I help you? It's all right, Miss Lloyd. I'm dealing with these gentlemen. Now, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, Mr. Sylvester... Uh, 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 one voice, please. Now then, you've sent my friend here a demand for a bill that is already paid. Not only that, you're threatening to cut his supply off. Very well. I'll look into that. You better have. Yes, and if you don't mind, And a quick... I think he got the message, Billy boy. I hope so, Eddie boy, or there'll be serious trouble. <coughs> Miss Lloyd. Would you ring the engineer's office? They may have sent someone to cut off the supply at this address. Do you want me to cancel the instructions? No, I want to make sure they're carried out. <laughs> right. Joe, and I can't thank you enough for your help. Oh, don't mention it. We are neighbours. <sighs> it's here, the Henry Kissinger Twickenham. <laughs> you can mop, but we've sorted out that electricity board. Right, Billy Boy? Right, Eddie Boy? I don't think you'll have any trouble from them. Neither do I. They've cut us off. <laughs> <laughs> They've been cut off. Oh, surely not. You... Not after what? Bobby, where's Terry? You haven't left him alone, have you? Of course not. Well, where is he? He's upstairs here in his bed. He's, He's what? what? Well, it was Joan's idea. What was? <laughs> well, thanks to you, they can't stay in their own house without any electricity. So until it's all sorted out, they're staying here. <laughs> Bloody Nora. <laughs> I'm home, love. I'm home, sugar. I'm home. You're only the lodger. Ah, cobblers. Neckers. <laughs> That'll do you two. Uh, where is Barbie? Upstairs, bath in terror. Well, that's a waste of time for a start. Wouldn't come white even if you bleached him. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. What a day I've had here. Terrible. Oh, awful. <laughs> oh, look at that. You'd have thought by now that I've taught their little piccadilly to put his toys away. They do. Trouble is, they're not used to being tidy like what we are. Well, they'll have to learn to put things away while they're in this house. That is not Terry's teddy, it's our Mark's. Oh. Is it? Ah, uh, well, it's his home. He's entitled to put his little teddy where he The double standard is crazy. It's like, now I feel like, since they know this show was going to be off, they're just trying everything. They're just doing, but they're just going balls to the wall. Just like, every, they're just trying to insert the most craziest moments and just, they're just trying to fit everything in. Because the last two episodes are pretty cool. They were pretty mild. And now it's just like, they just going full on, just cr- mm. That's not what you said last week when you tripped over his building, Bruce. <laughs> oh, well, I... And what about when he shoved his ostrich down the toilet? <laughs> Never mind, at his age, we're all entitled to two mistakes. Tipped a plate of hot porridge in your lap this morning. Yeah, well, that wasn't his fault. How was he to know it was that hot? <laughs> anyway, where is my son and heir? Upstairs in the bath with Terry. <laughs> <laughs> You were Sharing the same bath water? Why not? Helping the economy. But that is not the point. Sharing a bath saves electricity. That is not the point, dear. You wouldn't expect me to share a bath with his dad. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Joan, do you mind? Not Bill, don't. Uh, someone mentioned my name? Oh, Bill, we're talking about sharing a bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Joan, that is. <laughs> I recommend it. 
Bobby and I often do it, you know. You would. <laughs> well, I'm going to get Barbie and we're late when we got the kids tucked down, all right? Hey, and what a delicate, tantalizing example of English cuisine do we savor tonight? Ah, uh, tonight you're ever a treat. We're having a traditional Lancashire meal. Hot pot. <laughs> Fish and chips. <laughs> Fish and chips. And mushy peas. Oh, look, look, can't we have something else? No, we can't. It's Friday. We always have fish and chips on Friday. Why? Well, it's part of our heritage. Oh, I'm fed up with chips. Now, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice. I take you in, I give you a roof over your head, and all you do is moan. But look, man, last night was pie and chips, and night before, steak and chips. Don't you ever get tired of chips? No. Chips are good, honest British grub. Well, look, why don't you let Bobby cook us a nice, good West Indian meal, eh? No, thank you. I'm not going to have all that curried muck you have. Have you ever tried it? I don't have to. I've smelt it. That's enough. <laughs> Look, man, you don't know what you're missing, you know. I could do with a real good West Indian pot roast. Hey, you'd like that, you know, Eddie. How do you make it? Well, first you get a little white man. <laughs> <laughs> Well. Look, have you heard from the electricity board today? No, not yet. Well, why don't you pay your bill? We've paid it. Are you sure? Yes, Joan, I paid by check. Look, I'll ring the bank and ask them to sort it out. Oh, I'm sure it'll be settled soon. Well, I hope so. Anyway, what about Nosh? I'm hungry. Oh, I'll put the oven on. Yeah. Pardon? Barbie's cooking dinner. Oh, great! Hey, what are we having, Barbie? Pot roast, eh? No. Ah, uh, sweet potato. No. Beef curry. No, something really special. Go on, tell me what are we having? Fish, chips, and mushy peas. <laughs> Here you are, lads. Thanks, Tommy. What do you fancy a stand out tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock? Peas pudding. So do I. What about you, Jacko? Oh, I love half. You've got a one track mind. You've already got a. Oh, hey, cheers. We're talking about Sandown tomorrow afternoon. Do you fancy peas pudding? Oh, yes, definitely. That makes it unanimous. Can I have mine with chips? <laughs> chips? Well, I always have chips with peas pudding. Jacko, did it hurt when they took your brain out? <laughs> peas pudding to Rachel's, you twit! Well, I didn't know. I don't know everything. You don't know anything? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Hello, Eddie. <clears throat> no, but... Get us a pie with you, son. I'm starving. I could eat a horse. If you have one of those pies, it's probably what you will be eating. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? Have they stopped feeding you at home? Worse than that. Joan's mother turned up, and his missus did the cooking. Well, there's nothing wrong with Barbie's cooking. Well, I couldn't eat it. It's the first time I've ever said no to fish and chips. Why? What was wrong with it? Well, for a start, the chips were crinkly. Oh, I like crinkly chips. Well, I don't. Proper chips are straight up and down. Well, what difference does that make? All the difference in the world if you're making a chip butter. Ask any northerner. Right, Jacko? What? What do you think of crinkly chips? Don't ask me. I don't know anything about racehorses. <laughs> 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 Does anybody know what he's talking about? I've got a vague idea. Here you are, Eddie. Two pints and one pint on the bar. Yeah, son. <clears throat> Thank you, Billy boy. What are you thanking me for? Your pay. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Um, can you... Hello, hello. Another chocolate drop. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I'm from the gas board. I'm looking for Maple Terrace. Oh, that's just around the corner. Why? Someone's reported a smell. Yeah, well, don't worry. It's probably his wife's cooking. <laughs> a smell of gas. Mm. It would mean digging the road up to have a look at the mains pipe. And where is the mains pipe? Uh, outside number 104. Well, that's... A... 104? That's my house. Good! We start drilling first thing in the morning, about 7 a.m. <laughs> So I should get to bed early if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this country's coming to. Everywhere you turn, there's a nignog. <laughs> Bloody no, there's another one. Oh. You see, I've always said, once you let one in, they'll all come in and take the country. Bill, hmm? you'll just have to pay that electricity account. Well, look, Bobby, I paid by check. Mrs. Reynolds rang the bank, and they've no record of that check. Well, they must have. Look, look, dear. There's the stuff. Over a fortnight ago. When did you post it? 
The same day. Wait a minute. I wrote out two checks on that day. And I gave it to you to post two weeks last Tuesday. Well, if you gave it to me, I must have... Wait a minute. That's when the television man came. I didn't go out. I gave it to you to post on your way to your mother's. Right, close up. Wait a minute, I didn't go to my mother's that day. Mark had a sore throat, so I kept him at home in bed. I gave them to you to post when you went to post your football coupon. I don't remember. You put them in that pocket. Uh, wow! You owe me for the stamp. <laughs> wow! Wow. I can't thank you enough for your hospitality. Let's face it, if it hadn't been for Eddie, you wouldn't have needed it. I know the two fellas didn't get on too well, but Mark and Terry had a ball. Oh, I'm going to have such trouble with him, getting to him to have a bath on his own. He'll have no one to throw his jet-propelled super hydro boat at. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry will have to find another little playmate to blow up with his interplanetary supersonic depth charges. <laughs> well, I think that's everything. Oops. Not quite. Oh, Hello. Come in. Everything's all right now, Mrs. Reynolds. I've reconnected your supply. Oh, thanks very much. Sorry you caused so much inconvenience. That's okay. Look, I'll go and sort things out. Okay. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I wouldn't say no, Mrs. Oh. Black, no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the kettle on again. It's only just boiled. Go! Oh, dear. Get your belt up out there, little less noise. Baby trying to get some sleep. Baby Bill. Joel! Have the nick nugs gone yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a hitter for the electricity board. I've just reconnected Mrs. Reynolds next door. About time too. So, what are you doing here? Your wife has kindly offered to make me a cup of tea. Ah, did she? Well, you can kindly offer to up it. There's too much tea drinking being done by people like you. So I suggest you go and get back on the job. We don't normally work on Saturdays. From what I can see, you don't exactly go mad from Monday to Friday either. There's no need to be insulting. <laughs> Look, this is my house. I can insult anybody I like. So go on, off you go. Sorry to keep you waiting. There seems to be something wrong with the electric kettle. It's not working. Pardon? It won't boil. Uh, look, uh, sorry to barge him, but we we've have... had a slight accident. Oh, God, it's him again, the gorilla from Manila. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you want? Well, unfortunately, I accidentally drilled through your power cable and blown the main fuse in your box. Oh, did you? Yes. Well, you can accidentally bloody well put it back again. <laughs> well, I can't, sir. It's sealed. Only the electricity board can mend it. Ah, well, in that case, no problem. <laughs> My friend here can do it. <laughs> <laughs> No chance. We don't work Saturdays. But well, when can you do it? Normally on Monday. But I book all the work out. And in your case, I won't hazard a guess as to how long we'll take before we get around to it. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Accidents will happen. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, there's only one thing you can do. Move in with us. Hey, and you know what you're going to get from now on? Beef curry and no chips. <laughs> Bloody Nora. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man, that episode was... Yo, they... They just went all out. That's what I. That's what I see. They they just going all out for these last two episodes. That's what it is. And you will find your labor a great deal easier. Life will the be last episode of Love Our Neighbor, man. Until we do the the one in Australia, but it's the last episode, man. Nobby will be here in a minute, Albert. I have plenty of time. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Nobby. This is Albert. How do you do? Uh, nicely, thank you. Albert's looking for work. Try the labour exchange. Well, that's him too. <laughs> Just uh, an odd job or two. He's staying at the hostel. Well, I suppose you've got to head up outside for a few, Bob. That's very kind of you. 
You can start off by sucking these edges out there. Right, Joe. Oh, thanks, Nobby. You've got a big heart. Aye, and a soft edge to match. <laughs> I better go show him what to do. I don't think I'll have a rush on tonight. I'll cope. And try and get a few bob for the orphans' fun. In this club? You'll be lucky. Hey, they can be very generous this lot when they're forced. Did you know me? 50p. We well, charge you to come in now. For the orphans' fun. You're always connecting with something, aren't you? Yeah. I'm just going out the back. You can let Maggie have it. She can have it any time she likes. <laughs> <laughs> How about it, darling? Put your eyes back in, Arthur. What can I get you? Uh, how about excited? <laughs> Yo, Sorry, Arthur, love. nasty. You have to settle for a pint. All right, darling. Evening, Arthur. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Hello. Bill. Hello. You've had the operation, Nobby. It suits you. <laughs> Very funny. What do you fancy? Oh, <laughs> how about you for a start? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hang on, hang on. We can't have you fancying her. Oh, why not? Because she's white. <laughs> You're supposed to fancy black is. You stick your own colour. Hey. <laughs> You should practice what you preach, you know. What do you mean by that? You're always drilling over that West Indian chick in the canteen. Oh, no, I'm not. Anyway, it's her fault. She'll keep bending down over the chip pan. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm merely being pleasant, just to show I'm not prejudiced against your kind. Ah, oh, come off it, Eddie. It's true. When you two are finished, are you having a drink? Oh, uh, I'm in the chair. Yeah, usual for me, dear. Uh, and me, baby. And I'll have half. <laughs> <laughs> you always go come in. It's the missing link. <laughs> hey, listen, where's the big fella? Who, Nobby? Mm. He's out the back. He's on the scrounge. Oh. oh, what for? Oh, he's collecting again. Oh, what is it this time? Orphans. Oh, he's it's always collecting these days. He's already eh? asked me. Well, it better not ask me. Well, you haven't got any, have you? Um, <laughs> you, you haven't got any orphans. Of course I haven't. Oh, well, listen. Well, it's I... no use him asking you, then, is it? <laughs> he's in a world of his own, isn't he? They have a lot at Dr. Bernardo's. Tell him someone. He's not collecting orphans, Jacko. He's collecting for them. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I am a fool. I'll second that. Carried unanimously. Here we are then, lads. Oh, Thanks, baby love. Yeah, darling, for the drinks. And there's my 50p for the orphans. Ta, any more? Yes, here's my 50p. Is it 50p each? Oh, no. You can put what you like. More if you want to. Well, I was thinking of less. Or less. <laughs> Oh, I've only got 5p. All contributions are gratefully accepted. Put it in the box. Yeah, what you doing, Mr. <laughs> about? Eddie? No. Oh, come on, Eddie. No. I'm fed up of Nobby scrounging. It's just for the underprivileged. If he comes round every week, I'll be one of the underprivileged. No, no, no. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to put my foot down. And what's more, when I see the big Yorkshire twit, I'll tell him what I'm doing with him. <laughs> <laughs> and what's that? <laughs> Hello, Nobby. Just say what a nice, kind, generous fellow you are. Fifty p <laughs> certainly, son. That's <laughs> me only. I'd have given it to you, know me. I'm That's the first time I've ever seen you give anything to charity. I'm always giving. Oh, yes. And why do you always cross the road when you see someone with a tree of flags, eh? Knickers. <laughs> to get to the other side. You what? You cross the road to get to the other side. You know, the chicken crosses the road to get to the other side. Oh, my God. Don't get it. You'll get it with your belt up, I'll tell you. <laughs> my father was very charitable, you know. He left everything to the orphanage. What was that? Fourteen kids. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, <sighs> it's not only orphans that are the problem today. What do you mean? There's thousands of homeless people living out rough on the embankment, scrounging for a bit of food. We should do something about them. Such as what? Take them in. You see, we have... We have foster parents for homeless children. What about foster parents for homeless down and outs? My mother would have one. Your mother's already got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Eddie, you would never take a down and out, him. Oh, yes, I would. Yes, I am a Christian. Oh, rubbish. It is not rubbish. Are you saying, Eddie, that you're taking homeless old tramp home with you? Definitely. <laughs> if I knew one. <laughs> <laughs> Now, but you're about to know. Pardon? Albert? Yes? Who's this then? It's Albert. Hello. 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 I just give him a few bucks to tidy up outside. It's your lucky day today, Albert. You've just found yourself a home. Meet Eddie Boo, your new dad. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
You just wait here, son. I'll go and tell the wife about you. It's very kind of you. Oh, don't worry. Your dad only doing it for the money. <laughs> no, I'm not. You keep your big black nose out of this. You stay with this old gentleman. I'll go and tell the wife around. Hello, love. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Eddie. Uh, don't stand up for me, dear. I was just going. You don't have to go on my account. Stay here, have a little chat. Are you drunk again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm merely trying to be friendly. You must be after something. What is it? You do have a suspicious mind. Yes, living with you that does it. <laughs> Sit down, Barbary. This could be very interesting. Yes, love. No. Well, uh, <laughs> it's like this. Here it comes. <clears throat> We're very lucky, you and I. Go on. Yeah, well, we've got a roof over our heads, a warm bed to sleep in. We don't go short of much. If you're thinking of cutting down on my housekeeping, you've had it. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Well, get to the point. Yes, sir. Well, I've been thinking. You see, are we not all our brother's keepers? Did not the good Lord himself say we should do good to each other? Peace on earth, he said, and goodwill to all men. I can't take him serious at all. I was right the first time he is drunk. <laughs> hey, look, you're a long time, Eddie. What's the verdict? What verdict? Yeah, I haven't got round to it yet, son. Got round to what? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Why are you better tell me what's going on now? Yes, love. Well, there are people in the world less fortunate than we are. Stop. You tell me or we'll be here all night. <laughs> Eddie's brought a tramp home. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> is this true? Uh, yes. Well, where is this tramp? In the other room. Oh, well, you better bring him in. Albert, come in. Evening all. Uh, come in, Albert. <laughs> Ladies, this is Albert. I've told the wife. Which is yours? <laughs> <laughs> the white one, yeah. <laughs> Your husband's very kindly offered to pick me up and, and, and give me an album. Oh, he has, has he? Yeah, well, I did have that in mind, love. You know me, generous to a fault. Still, I don't blame you for not agreeing. Sorry, Albert, son, you'll have to go. Come on. No, you won't have to go. Pardon? <coughs> I think it's a marvellous idea. You do? I'm very proud of you. I didn't know you were capable of such a selfless thought. The money helped. What money? Well, we all bet him a pound he wouldn't do it. He stands <laughs> to make over a fiver. <laughs> For five dollars? I'll tell you what, love, I'll split it with you, is all right? Sit down, Albert. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, lovely. <laughs> Eddie, go and put the kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> go and put the kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bill, man. I love Bill, man. Oh, my God. Go and fetch a cup and salsa. <laughs> That's a quid you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't think you'd do it, Harry. Never mind that. Just give me the money, money, money. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll bet you doubles or quits. He won't stay here for more than one night. <laughs> You'll never learn, will you? Am I on? Definitely. If you think I can't put up with Albert for more than one night, you don't know Eddie Boone. I wasn't counting on that exactly. How do you mean? Well, I'm betting that after putting up with you, Eddie Booth, for one night, Albert will be dying to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, morning, Eddie. Knickers. <laughs> oh, look, man, do you have to be rude all the time? Hmm? To you? Yes, it makes me feel better. Morning, Eddie. Oh, dear, what is this? Visiting day? Oh, I've just had the come on in signal from Joan. Pardon? It's a system we have for each other. We bang on the wall. Means kettle's on. Means come in. Then there's this one. What does that mean? Drop everything. The milkman's here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you don't buy a set of flaming tom-toms. Well, I'm glad 
Crawley, I want you to see Albert. We saw Albert last night. Yeah, but you won't recognise him this morning. Come in the other room. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's upstairs. Hurry up, Albert! Come in! Sit down, Bill, Barbie. Oh. Yes, make yourself comfortable. Nearly Albert's viewing time. <laughs> Do you know, Barbie is really a very intelligent man. That's a novelty in this neighbourhood. If he was intelligent, he wouldn't be a tramp. He knows more than you. Oh, I thought nobody knew more than Eddie. Now, you just watch it. He's travelled all over the world. Used to be a sailor. Yeah, oh, Is it marvellous? Touch the old house, your father's, you'll believe anything. <laughs> Morning, home. Okay, then, uh, drip down. Uh. Very smart. Hey, I wouldn't have recognised you. I this is Booth to thank. Oh, call me Joan. Oh, thank you, Joan. <laughs> well, Eddie, call me Mr. Booth. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to him, Albert. Don't you think he looks smart, Eddie? Well, at least looks more human. Hang on. What's the matter? <laughs> He's got my best suit on. <laughs> yes, lucky we're the same size, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's nice. That, why do you go the old hog? Let him wear one of my shirts, one of my ties as well. I did. <laughs> <laughs> the only trouble was your shoes was a bit too big for me. Thank God for that. I had to put a couple of pairs of socks on to make it fit. <laughs> Is it barbers? I've only worn that suit once. <laughs> it looks better on Albert than it ever did on you. <laughs> Felt up. Sit down, Albert. <laughs> Eddie is so petty. Eddie, go and get a chair from the kitchen. He's so petty. There you are, Albert. You can sit there. What about the chair from the kitchen? Well, you'll need that for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Albert. You can squeeze in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> now, Albert, tell us about yourself. Well, there's not much to tell. Don't be so modest. He used to be a ski instructor in Switzerland. Aha. What do you mean, aha? You said he was a sailor. Well, I've been a lot of things in my time, Mr. Boo. It must be wonderful to travel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Switzerland. Oh, that's a beautiful country. Yeah. All those Alps, if you like that sort of thing. I didn't know you'd been to Switzerland. He hasn't. Nearest he's been to an Alp is a day trip to learn dad now. <laughs> He went up the little home and he got rigor mortis. <laughs> it was vertigo. Rigor mortis is when you're dead. The way you cleat your teeth and your eyes popped out, I thought you were. <laughs> I may not have actually been to Switzerland, but I do happen to be very widely read on the subject. Since when? Never you mind since when. All right, come on, tell us about Switzerland. Yes, come on. Yes, well, it, 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 it's, it's full of Swiss people and they yodel and make watches. Yeah. And Swiss roll. And Swiss roll. <laughs> hey, hey, you don't know a thing about Switzerland. Oh, yes, I do. It's got the largest mountain in Europe, Mont Blanc. <laughs> that means white mountain, white, one of ours. <laughs> it's in France. Pardon? Mont Blanc. It's in France. It's in Switzerland. France! Switzerland? Don't, don't argue with me. I know what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll prove it. Where's my encyclopedia? In the drawer. A bit out of date, though. Don't worry, God. The Alps will have shifted since I was at school. <laughs> now, let's have a look. Where are we? Emperor Mountain. Emperor Mountain. We'll soon see Clever Clock, who's right here. Em, em, there we are. Mont Blanc. France. <laughs> 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 Yes, well, I'm sure we're all very grateful to you, Albert. There are gaps in everyone's information. Nobody's perfect, not even me, as I am the first to admit. And I'm the first to second. <laughs> However, Albert, it's getting late, and I'm sure you'll want to be on your way. Uh, doubles or quits, Eddie? It's worth it. Come along, son. Chop, chop. What, Mr. Booth? Don't worry, don't worry about the washing up. The wife can do that. Albert, can I say I hope you've enjoyed your little stay with us? Well, yes, I have. And can I also say I hope we have the pleasure one day of meeting you again? You will. Tomorrow morning at breakfast. Breakfast? Albert stay for as long as he likes. <laughs> 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 Oh, hi, Eddie. No, 
holiday. Uh, another pint, Nobby. Fancy a game of darts? No, I bloody don't. <laughs> How about a Swiss roll? Oh, <laughs> You're in a bad mood. Ten out of ten for observation. Is it happy, Albert, then? Yes, yes. He's getting on my wick, you know. Seem very nice to me. He's not living with you, is he? Mm. He does seem to know everything. Not only knows everything, does everything. You know, I've got a feeling. It's only a question of time before Jones suggests I move out to the hostel. I'm redundant in my own home. He does everything for her. He's not! You better bloody help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for him, mate. He's just a pathetic little old man. <laughs> I wish he was a pathetic little young man. Why? Because then I could smash his pathetic little face in. <laughs> You wouldn't use violence on an old age pensioner, would you? No, no, no. Not on him any road. Used to be a welterweight champion of the Royal Navy. <laughs> hey, talk of the devil. Oh, no, I can't get away. What do you want now, Albert? Oh, it's all right, Mr. Boo. I've just called in to get a bottle of red wine. I'm going to cook a cock of van. I'm going to cook a cock of van. <laughs> It's all the same when you have your fish, chips and mushy peas. I can't stand much more of them, you know. And what are you going to do now? I've got to undermine him. Make Joan realise he's not as marvellous as she thinks he is. Well, you'll have a job on, Eddie. Look, he doesn't smoke, he hardly drinks, he doesn't even go out with uh -huh. a... That's it. That's what? Drink. I'll get him, Kayli. <laughs> Albert? Yes? Would you like to have a little drink with me, Albert? Well, that's very kind of you, but I... Well, I don't really indulge. Well, neither do I, but I mean, one drink won't harm us, will it? Well, I suppose not. All right, then, if you insist. <laughs> marvellous, marvellous. Nobby, two large whiskies. Right. I think I've cracked it, Billy Boy. I hope so, Eddie Boy. <laughs> Just one thing, Eddie. What's that, Jacko? In case you forget, I'll have half. <laughs> <laughs> Very grateful if you do that for me, Nobby. You just want dry ginger. That's right. No whiskey. No, it goes right to my head. But don't tell Mr. Booth. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Whatever you say, the customer's always right. What are you doing with those drinks, Nobby? There you are. Ah, oh, well done, son. Cheers, Albert. Good elf. Good elf. <laughs> Same again, Albert. If you insist. Why not indeed? Same again, Nobby. Doubles? Double. No. Make them trebles. <laughs> right. He's not playing. One for the road, Nobby. I think he's well away now. You see, he can't hold it like what I can. A few more large trebles, just as about to see him off. He's such a generous man, Mr. Boo. Excuse me a moment, gentlemen. <laughs> I don't understand the old boy. He must have all old legs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I've never seen anyone drink so much and stay sober. It makes me feel drunk just looking at him. It's <laughs> 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 him about to fall over. There you are, Beth. Hang on. The robber's missing. Now, let's have a look at him. Two whites and one black. It must be a white one. Don't tell me it's Alvin. That's Alvin. Hold up. Now what have I done? Have I drunk him under the table? <laughs> you must be joking, Eddie. He's more sober now than when he came in. Give all that. He's para, para, para lil, para. Rams and list. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are worse than what he is. Rubbish. I'm as jovial as a sudge. <laughs> Where is the old sot in he, He's in the doings. Is he? Yeah. Trying to sober up, no doubt. I'll soon sort Excuse me, young man, beg your pardon. <laughs> Come on, Albert. Come on, you. We know you're in there. You drunken old sausage, you. Mr. Boone, are you all right? I am. I said you my own. No way, Albert. I can take my liquor. Excuse me, Albert. <laughs> oh my God, he gonna come home. I brought him back, my love. You're drunk. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, quite right, love. 
He is drunk. You're very drunk, Albert. In fact, you are as drunk as a newt. It's not him I'm talking about. It's you. I am not drunk. <laughs> he was knocking back treble whiskies. It was though he was deliberately trying to make himself drunk. Or somebody else. <laughs> well, you've wasted your money. Pardon? You've got a visitor. Have I? Not you. <coughs> a visitor? I bet it's our Roddy. That's right. You back? Hello, Dad. Hello, Roddy. So you found me, then? They told me where you were down at the hostel. How many more times are you going to do this? Whenever I feel like it. I've told you before, I'm very grateful to you for giving me an home, but I like a bit of freedom now and again. What's all this about, then? I'll tell you when you're sober. I am surfically pub. <laughs> surfically pub! Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm surfically pub. Perfectly sober. Sober, sober. This is my show, Ronnie. This is Mr. Booth. How'd you do? I'm sorry about Dad, Mrs. Booth. Don't apologise. We liked having him stay with us. We did. Well, that's very kind of you. Stay longer if you like. Of course he can. No, he must go home now. Of course he must. No, I've stayed long enough. I'll go home. Well, thank God, Albert. Come here. You mean to say you're not an old tramp? No, Mr. Booth. He, he lives with us. He just wanders off every now and then. And I meet some lovely people. Thank you, Albert. Very nice. Well, I hope he's not in too much trouble. There's uh, ten pounds. That should cover any inconvenience. We don't want any money. No, no. I insist. Well, thank you very much again. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Bye-bye. I'll send your suit back. <laughs> she gonna smash that money from him. Yes, one of the best. Mind you, I knew there was something funny about him. Still, I'm ten quid better off. No, you're not. <laughs> I knew she was going to take it. Where are you going, dear? Out with Barbie for a few drinks and a nice meal. So what about me? I'm hungry. You can have the cocoa back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. There's the chicken. There's the wine. The potatoes are ready. There's how to make it. <laughs> oh man. Ah oh, man, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's stuck with me this whole Love Thy Neighbor series. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. But um we are on to bigger and better things, man. I'm going to watch the other episodes of the Australia series. I'm going to watch those eventually. But I kind of want to do a double feature because I had a whole bunch of time today. And plus, like, you guys have been supporting me through this whole grind all eight seasons. But without further ado, man, let's get... I appreciate y'all. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. But other words of be safe, stay on the grind, I'm out. Peace.